Okay, so now for our spoiler install. Here's the 6768 model spoiler. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, lay some tape out. It's gonna help us when we drill our holes and also make our marks. When you have tape like this, it's not a bad idea, you know, to try to get a little bit of lint on it. Sometimes even the safe release tape can uh, lift paint. Sometimes uh, you have templates to do this kind of stuff, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without a template. Basically what you have to do is find the center line on both the spoiler and the uh, trunk. You can go ahead and find the center line here. Find two good reference points that will not be any different. You wanna go ahead and mark, mark down your measurements. Then you just divide that in half. So now that we've established the center line, we can go ahead and measure out from the center line to locate the posts. And you repeat the same procedure on every post starting from the center line out to the ends. And that's pretty much how you make the template. Once you've got everything written out on paper, then it's time to transfer it to the trunk. So I'm just gonna go from one side to the other, at this very edge, to find our center line. We take the overall measurement, divide that in half, then we'll take our flexible ruler here. We'll line it up to the edge of the tape. Okay, so that's our center line. You can always double check this. Okay, so now that we've got our center line, we need to map out all of the areas that we're gonna make the holes on. Basically, the lower edge of the spoiler holes are gonna be about three quarters of an inch away from the edge. So uh, starting with the center line, you're gonna start measuring outwards. It's pretty important that you get these pretty dead on or else uh, your spoiler may be a little uh, crooked or a little offset. These holes that we're gonna drill are gonna be 716, so you have a little bit of adjustment. So just try to get them as close as possible. So now that we've got all of our lower holes positioned here, we can just come up three quarters of an inch on each one of these from the lower edge, and that's where we can mark our uh, horizontal lines. Okay, so now we've got everything mapped out, it's a good idea to double check all of your measurements before drilling any holes. So can't stress enough, take the measurements off your spoiler again and just check them with the marks you made on the trunk. Just make sure that you got enough tape uh, to completely cover the areas you're gonna be drilling to keep the paint from flaking away from the, uh, material, the surface. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more here. We've already double checked our measurements so they are correct. Now we wanna just get a center punch to keep the drill from walking right in the center of your measurement. You wanna use a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill a pilot hole and then later we'll use a 7 16 drill bit to uh, make it to the actual size. So now we've got our pilot hole made. Then we'll just repeat the procedure along the whole trunk panel. Now one thing about the lower edge of the trunk panel is that you have to be careful still when making the hole here near the edge because the rear tail pan is directly below it. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to break out your uh, drill stop or socket at this time. Okay, so we've got our pilot holes drilled. Let's go ahead and change out to the 7 uh, drill bit. So you definitely wanna use a drill stop on this one. Okay, so now that we've removed the tape, let's go ahead and grab the spoiler and see how it fits. Well, it looks like it fits pretty good. Now all we have to do is open the trunk and put some fasteners on it. So here we have the mounting hardware. It's uh, some small acorn nuts that you would use on the rear part of the trunk lid. And then you would use these flanged serrated nuts on the longer studs that go on the inner structure. So when installing the hardware, it's not a bad idea to use um, a flexible caulking strip to keep all the moisture and the dirt out since we just recently opened up these holes. This will seal against the lower edge of the trunk panel and around the uh, stud. So you just want to snug it down to where it meets the panel. That's how it's done. Thank you for joining us at the Classic Industries Tech Center and check back with us online for future installs.